श्री ए विजय कुमार ऑनरेबल सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर गिविंग मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी स्पीक इन द अगस्त हाउस ऑन द वर्किंग ऑफ एमएसएमई तमिलनाडु कंटिन्यूज टू बी ए वाइब्रेंट इंडस्ट्रियल स्टेट विद अ लार्ज बेसिस ऑफ बिग फैक्ट्रीज एंड स्मॉल यूनिट्स द स्टेट हैज एन एस्टिमेटेड 7 लाख रजिस्टर्ड माइक्रो स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस आर अबाउट 15.1 परसेंट ऑफ ऑल सच यूनिट्स इन द कंट्री with a rupees of 32000 crores half an estimated investment in them most msme in tamil nadu were set up by entrepreneurs who said that they had the skill and motivation to set up and run a unit but a fifth half the entrepreneurs reported that their inability to find a job was the reason but the process of registering new units saw a huge declined in 2017 and 18 from the 2016 and 17 levels due to various reason including demonstration and issues of related to the gsft among them the number of workers are employed to falls by more than 5 lakh in in 2016 and 17 the number should be at 18 lakhs but in the 2017 it uh, it got reduced to 13 lakhs but at the moment of mm msme sector in tamil nadu is an one of the development blank due to the various appropriate steps taken by the government of tamil nadu which runs in the path of led by our mercurial leader prachi talavi amma but after a year of economic slowdown government is focused in trying to put money in the hands of the people and thereby stimulating economic growth several pro activity measures are taken by the government at both at both centers at the state to accelerate grow growth of micro small and medium enterprises to the boost investment in the indian startup ecosystem currently business ha business having turnover of more than 1 crore are required to get their books of accounts audited by an accountant the turnover should be for audit has been proposed to raised from the existing 1 crore to 5 crores but there is one condition the increased limit shall apply only to those business which carry out less than 5% of their business transaction in cash government should allow up to 25% of business transaction in cash this will enable to several businesses like con construction sector agro industries tech textiles and knitwear industry even the film production industries also could they thrive as this business are depending mainly on ca cash transaction sir labor intensive sectors in msme are critical for employment generation cheap and low quality imports are an imp impediment to growth special attention has been taken to put measured restraint the import of those items which are being produced by our msmes with better quality keeping in view the need of this sector customs duty is being raised on items like footwear furniture fishing nets i urge the governments to raise the custom duty for several other items also in, then only the msme sector will thriving in this time anti dumping duty also put for more than so many items currently an eligible startup having turnover of 25 crore is allowed a reduction of 100% of the profits for three consecutive assessment years out of 7 years if the total turnover does not exceed 25 crore rupees in order to extend this benefit to larger startups the turnover limit has been proposed to be increased from the existing 20 25 crores to 100 crores sir the budgetary allocation on the msb ministry is years stands to 7500 crores even though mere might be an overall increase in the total allocation for the ministry of msme in the years budget the outlay to many msme central schemes has been cut the biggest dip has come for the credit support program its earlier share was 597 crores and this time it allocated to 100 crores a cut of 83.5% the msme funds that 2019 20 should be 100 crores the new now cease to be 50% discount the reduction however the allocation for funds of 
funds has gone up from 100 crores to 200 crores. This has pushed up the total allocation for entrepreneurship and skill development from 479 crores to 556 crores. Further, the total outlay of technical upgradation of the quality certification schemes has been reduced from its earlier figure of 755 crores to the new figure of 683 crores. Further, the much crucial scheme for rural entrepreneurs whose previous share should at the 50 crores has been slashed by the 30 crores. Another scheme useful to the MSMEs, credit-linked capital subsidy and technology upgradation scheme has been reduced to 653 crores from and previous of the 705 crores. Development of Kadi village and care industries needs a substantial raise in allocation. The allocation for the scheme fund for recognition to, for traditional industries has been increased from 125 crores to 465 crores. Also, Kair Vigas Yojana has increased from 70 crores to 103 crores. And outlay of Khadi grant has been hiked from 300 crores to 383 crores, an increase of 24 percent. The flagship employment generation scheme of the ministry, Prime Minister Employment Generation Program, has got an all-time high allocation of 2,500 crores for generation of self-employment opportunities through establishment of micro enterprises in non-farm sectors by helping traditional art, artisans and rural unemployment youth. The scheme of the 100 crores was also announced to extend hand-holding support to the mid-sized companies and selected such as pharmaceuticals, auto components, fishing net manufacturing companies, <coughs> and other technology upgradations. R&D business strategy among others to make, make them export competitive. Sir, MSME sector is the backbone of our country and providing adequate support to the states like Tamil Nadu will not only boost the GDP, but also increase the employment opportunity for the youth of our country. In light of the fantastic situation prevailing globally, China being the main culprit in spreading the COVID-19, it is high time for the government to reduce the imports from the China <coughs> and other countries also to provide substantial funds to indigenous MSMEs so as to boost our GDP and employment opportunity in the country. Tamil Nadu is the leader in MSME sector in the country and continues to be the front runner in the development of MSME sector. Kadi village industries, every industrial town in Tamil Nadu is having inequate MSME units and, ev and even the villages furnishing the MSME sector in the state therefore I urge the union of government to allocate 5,000 crores <coughs> as the one time special package to the support the MSME sector in Tamil Nadu. Normally, because of the COVID-19, nearly two months of production of the MSME sectors, uh, our industries are suffering too much. Normally, the 90 days time, the bank, the financial institution take action against the, the MSME, these industries. So, I urge the government through you, please help these industries. Another another some six, uh, six months for renovate their works and uh, give the production in the huge and uh, they will also exist in the field. So please help the industries in this time. Thank you. Sri Ravi Prakash Verma. Thank you, sir.